I bow to all the seekers of truth. <coughs> At the very outset, we have to understand that truth is what it is. We cannot conceptualize it, we cannot organize it and we cannot use it for our own purposes. Moreover, <coughs> with the blinkers on both the sides like a horse, with all our conditionings we cannot find the truth. We have to be free people, we have to be open-minded people like scientists <coughs> to see for ourselves what is the truth. If somebody preaches something, professes something, say something is not to be accepted blindfolded. As I told you yesterday that the essence of all the religions is to find the eternal and to treat the transitory in its own understanding and in its own limitations. That's why we have lost our balance. If we are really the people <coughs> who want to know the truth, we have to know that at human awareness we cannot know it. It becomes a concept. You have to have the spiritual awareness, but spiritual awareness is a state of your being, where you become the spirit. Again the word I'll say become is not artificially certifying somebody that now you have become a Hindu or a Christian or a Muslim, you become anything. Because you may be a Muslim, Christian, Hindu, anything, you can commit any sin. You can do anything that is wrong, Nothing from inside is going to stop you. So all these things have become so, were so much outward that now there are people who have started saying there is no God, there is nothing like religion, which is not true. <coughs> First of all, when we say there is nothing or there is not God, we should find out have we been able to find out about it or just in our ego we are saying there is no God? Have we been able to work it out to see if there is God or not? You do not judge God by the people who talk about God. Anybody can talk about God because they think there is no law that can catch them. They can talk against Him, they can talk for Him, they can do the way they like. They can even make money by talking against God and against all the prophets. That's a very good way of making money, blackmailing. But does that mean that whatever is written is a Bible or whatever is black and white is to be taken that seriously? So first of all we have to be little independent, to be free, to know that if you have to know the Spirit, as they said, know thyself, <coughs> then you have to know it on your central nervous system. As I can feel this is cold or hot, you have to feel the divine power which is all-pervading, which is the truth, which manifests the truth because it is the love of God. You have to first feel it on your central nervous system which is the bodha. Now one may say that <coughs> uh, in the West we have advanced so much, all right? We have gone too far with everything. 
But if you see, when we started with science, what have we produced? Hydrogen bomb, atom bomb, all kinds of devils on, sitting on our heads. You take to any enterprise that we take, we go to extremes, there is no balance. Any mental projection is linear, it moves in one line and then recoils back and then you are shocked. Now you have got acid rain, you produced machinery, all right. Machinery is for you, not you are not for machinery. And thus there is no balance between you and the machinery, no balance between you and the science. It's just like going amok with anything that you get into your hand. And this balance you can only have when you become the spirit. You see beautiful chandeliers here, beautifully made, but unless and until there is light, what is the meaning of these chandeliers? Nothing. In the same way, if you do not have the light of the Spirit shining in your attention, you will not know your meaning, like this instrument. Unless and until it is connected to the mains, it is useless. Unless and until we are connected to the mains, we do not know the Absolute and that's why all these problems are there. <clears throat> now when I'm talking about this instrument which lies within us, One has to again know that this is the knowledge of the roots. And to know the knowledge of the roots, you have to become a subtler personality. With a gross mind, you cannot see it. To become the subtler personality, minimum of minimum, you have to know that so far you have not known the roots. If you had known, there would be no problem. But there's something has gone wrong somewhere in every human enterprise, even in religions, that's why today we find this kind of a farce going on. And what has gone wrong is that we have to seek the eternal. <coughs> Maybe it might look little different <clears throat> For example, Buddha and Mahavira did not talk about God at all. I also did not talk about God for four years, at least three years. As soon as you talk of God, again people start jumping, when can we become God? This is the first question. So first you become the Self the first step. That's why they did not talk. They said, first you become yourself. Unless and until you have your eyes, how can you see the colors? So first have your eyes. It is for your benevolence that you better get what you deserve. What is your own? is your birthright as a human being to become the Spirit. That is what Sahaja Yoga is. Saha means with and Jai is born. Born with you is the <coughs> right. To get this Yoga is the union with the Divine. 